check back in now with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer, who is watching Michael for us. Craig. Yeah, and the thing about Michael, one now that it's into the Gulf of Mexico, is, is that there is no real way out of the Gulf of Mexico except over land. So once a storm gets in the Gulf, it's hard to get out except going over land unless it dissipates. But that's not going to be the case with Michael. Here's Michael this evening. Uh, the wind field now has increased a little bit now, about 350 miles from north to south there. That's the area of the tropical storm force wind. So it's a medium sized hurricane. Winds are the highest winds are as 90 miles an hour near the center. Category one moving to the north to 12. It's just shy of category two intensity. Forecast is for it to intensify through the night tonight through the day tomorrow and by tomorrow evening forecast to be a major hurricane in the east central gulf continuing to move north so that by wednesday morning already the bad weather has reached the coast the center is approaching the coast still forecast to be category three and then by wednesday evening beginning a weakening trend once it makes landfall but uh, going to do quite a bit of damage in terms of wind along the panhandle there there's going to be widespread power outages well inland there's going to be some significant rainfall right along the track of where the center goes. And then there's that storm surge threat at all. You can see it moving off the east coast later on Thursday. Here's the way it looks tonight. You can see also that there's a little more purples and blues this evening as it is moving to the north. The zoomed in sector there showing that the storm looks to be getting a little bit better organized. It has been fighting off some shear, but uh, doing a pretty good job at fighting the shear off, unfortunately. Uh, hurricane warning remains in effect for the western portion there, western province of Cuba, Pinar del Rio, and hurricane warnings now for the much of the northern Gulf, including all the Panhandle, Tallahassee, Panama City, Pensacola, hurricane watches, tropical storm watches and warnings outside of that area. A storm surge warning is in effect for much of the Gulf Coast as well in Florida, and some areas could see up to 12 feet potentially of storm surge. That's how deep the water would be over land near the coast. There's the radar tonight, and you can see these bands of showers that are working their way on shore. They're moving quickly. They're contain, they contain brief downpours and gusty winds, and so I expect if you're out and about later tonight or tomorrow driving and you run into one of those showers, it's going to be pretty windy. Also in the upper key, a little bit of a break in the lower keys, and then there is the edge now of Michael. And if you look carefully right here, you can kind of make out some uh, rain motions going in a circle there. That's very near the center. For us, the moisture from Michael moves to the north, but we kind of get stuck in this tail here. So while rain chances aren't exceptionally high, they do stick around right through the end of the week when our gusty winds and showers turn into more just scattered thunderstorms. Windy showers tonight, brief downpours, a low near 78 tomorrow, sun at times and gusty showers blowing by high temperature near 88 degrees. For boaters, still pretty rough out there southeast at 15 to 25, 6 to 8 foot seas and choppy on the bays. Through the rest of the week, windy, gusty showers tomorrow and Wednesday and then just sun and hot storms around through the weekend.